Hello, if you are new to Social Work Scrapbook, I love being on Instagram and this week I asked, what part of my day do you want to see? I got many great responses, so let's get started into this vlog directed by you. Okay, December 2nd and many schools have started the 12 days of Christmas, which is super exciting. So this is leading up to their holiday break. It looks so cute. Are you ready for Spirit Week? Yeah. Okay, let's go. So little one had a Rudolph reindeer nose because it was Christmas accessory days. And I think it's the perfect day for a little Rudolph nose. I wish I had a Rudolph nose right now driving in this fog. Yes. I just got to my first campus of the day, but I do want to mention that these holiday dress up weeks, cute as they may be, they are really great attendance interventions, like school wide attendance interventions, because students want to show up to school to show off their holiday accessories, want to see their other friends dressing up. Whenever you can create spirit weeks for the whole school, you usually have pretty good attendance rates. I have done this at the high school level with some really good outcomes. We also gave away prizes and gift cards to the those that were dressed up. Food is always a great incentive and um, this kind of got them excited about showing up to school. Believe it or not, it is a really good way to drive your attendance up, especially during colder months. Coming to school after a Thanksgiving holiday is a little tricky. All right, so on my docket for today, I'm going to start off at a campus checking in with a student because this particular student has uh, some anxiety around attendance. So meeting with him the first period of the day has kind of helped him to ease into his school day a little better. So I'm gonna get to that. I check into a few different campuses around my district. I hold a caseload of around 15 students that I meet with to work on a number of different behavioral issues and mental health issues. I check into the counselor's office most likely to send a pass for my student and while I'm waiting I go ahead and set up the counseling room or whatever space they have available for me. I want to make sure I have something like a fidget toy, some tissues, and I situate the space to make it feel safe and comfortable. So right around 9.30 in the morning, I finally make it to my office, and this is just in time to answer this part of my day, which is how I prepare for sessions or for meetings. I prepare for my sessions by making sure that my documentation is in line. So I do create a case file for each student that's referred to me that includes these five things. Their student demographics, their school schedule, all the referral information, my intake form or assessment, and then an overall session plan. So I will show you in just a moment how all of this looks. So what I'm bringing up right now is my session schedule. This keeps me on track. I do provide short-term solution-focused type sessions with the students on my caseload. So this consists of six to eight, maybe 10 sessions with each student and then I attempt to refer out if further services are needed or medication. 
So I do want to show you how I set up my session schedule. This is a general session that I would have started with a student with an intake back in September and I plot all my dates. It is super important to stay consistent with the students on my schedule because there is a lot of anxiety, there's a lot of depression, so I want to make sure that I am consistent. So this next session will be with a student that is dealing with some depressive thoughts and intrusive thoughts. So we're going to work through a self-care and safety plan, especially with the holidays coming through. I want to normalize some of the feelings that he may be going through and I want to definitely give him some steps and resources in order to kind of manage that depression and those feelings and intrusive thoughts. I do keep a little file folder on each different mental health diagnosis or behaviors that I see just with a bunch of my resources in there. So this depression self-care plan I will add to my depression folder. We are at our next campus. Of course, parking is not looking good. All right, we are at campus now ready to apply my interventions and meet with a few students that I have here but I did get caught up on the phone line with a parent kind of following up on a session that I did yesterday and um, I forget to factor that into my day sometimes parents can take uh, 30 minutes sometimes an hour to kind of process what's going on in their own lives and then you continue doing needs-based assessments so I'm going to be making some deliveries of food and some clothing essentials things like that for that student um, so it's always good to follow up with parents but I keep forgetting to factor that in so I'm going to get the one session scheduled in today I have about an hour left till the end of the school day until this parking lot is flooded with um kids and parents and everything goes crazy and haywire here so we're gonna jump onto campus right now and um i'll bring you along there's major construction happening on some campuses that's where i would have parked but all well, this construction makes it very hard to get in and out of campus One of the most frequently asked questions that I get is what exactly do I say or how do meetings with clients look? And I can't obviously take you into a session with an actual client, but I will kind of show you. This is another little office space that I'm utilizing, trying to make it comfy, using the salt lamp that is in here, some good vibes. Ultimately, I just want to make the student feel safe and comfortable we were able to identify some triggers and how they can be exacerbated over the holiday break. We also built in some grounding techniques that can keep them in the moment and some breathing skills as well. I developed my interventions utilizing and what you're looking at now are all of the books and texts that I've collected. I also collect so much information from my trainings that I go through, but overall my interventions are going to be guided by the clients that I am faced with. Some clients are going to want to do work worksheets and be very tangible with their interventions. Others need to talk it out. Dep it all depends on the client that I'm sitting in front of. All right, we just finished our supper. I can't talk. That's what happens after a session. We just finished our session and now we are gonna get out of here because the students are slowly releasing and it's getting crazy. The parking lot is full. And yeah, I can see students are coming out already. So we're gonna try to beat beat all the traffic madness and i am rushing to get back to the office to document my wonderful sessions from the day i hope that this video helped we obviously didn't get to show you everything in my day but if you do enjoy these videos please Mommy, let me know bye. what parts of my day you want to watch next you have a good day at school yeah everybody like your reindeer nose yeah man who lost the red nose reindeer oh yeah it was a hit this is um, John's uh, Friday. It's his Friday, so he doesn't work tomorrow. So we are gonna go get some sushi. What did you get? Masks. What kind? Christmas of? masks for the kids. Yay! Hey, we are now. Ow. Stop making it look hard as a rock. I'm not making it look nothing. Is it hard as a rock? Yes. <laughs>